Radiohead have afforded us so much success on this channel from our OK Computer reaction video to In Rainbows and Fake Plastic Trees and I want to thank you guys and everyone who supported those videos so much. But I think there's an element of Radiohead that we haven't really explored in detail yet. There's this connection between Radiohead and Duma culture. I'm sure most of you fans, especially if you're like a younger Radiohead fan, will probably be aware of this. But if you don't know what a Duma is, I will read it out to you. The definition, this is the top definition from Urban Dictionary. So a Duma is a more enlightened update of the incel. So incel a bit. Is what incel means. Where the incel is chronically alone and projects his hatred onto women, the Duma has accepted his equally alone fate without resentment. Instead of bitching, he listens to Radiohead on evening walks. Now I find it quite funny that Radiohead are literally in the top definition on Urban Dictionary of a Duma, so the link is obviously not tenuous, it's very clear. And you know, I, I kind of realised what Duma culture was, as you could hear from that definition like a while back. Um, and I found this channel called, I think it was 19 year old Duma at the time, now it's 20 year old Duma, so happy birthday Duma. I feel like I'm going to say that word a little bit too much in this video. But on there there's a bunch of slowed and reverbed songs, I think there's like a fight club poster in the background of like the Duma. Um, and it's got Nirvana, Radiohead, Joy Division, The Smiths, Pearl Jam, The Police, Black Sabbath, you know the list goes on and they're all these bands and artists and songs that I really love and have like connected to so much in these last few years and it kind of gets you thinking like am I a Duma if, if this is what Duma's music taste is. Perhaps I'm not a Duma but I've clearly got Duma taste in music so what does this mean? And I just thought it would be a really fun thing to explore today. Anyone who's active in the Radiohead community will know there's a bunch of Radiohead memes, I'll, I'll put some <laughs> next to me right now if you want to see them. I'll have to go find a couple from Reddit, the classic, the classic home of the Radiohead fan. And it's interesting the stereotype of um, fans of the band there are and then how it kind of corresponds to our comment section. I don't recall the exact comments right now but you kind of get a general vibe from the comments of your YouTube videos as well as the demographics which I can actually put a few of those up right now that this is the people who are watching us react to Radiohead. Um, and then of course there's the older fans who just love the band in the 90s. You know there's those early songs from OK Computer like No Surprises with those hauntingly beautiful lyrics, I'll take a quiet life, a handshake of carbon monoxide. And then there's other songs on that album, like the last one that is really popular among fans, Let Down, which they have this intensely cathartic bit, but also somber sound. And I think that really defines Radiohead. So I understand why the Doomers, the Doomers relate so much with them. Um, and then there's albums like In Rainbows, which are just pure, unadulterated sadness to me. Of course, not every song is like that, but even in the video, Ishane, who I have the channel with, literally was like, because she's not really very familiar with Radiohead, she's like, he's wailing, he sounds like he's wailing, and Tom's vocals are so intensely evocative in that way that, like, that's how she felt about it, obviously, as someone who wasn't super familiar with Radiohead because he really pours his emotions out into the music, the whole band do, and you can see why it connects with people so, so deeply. There's songs like True Love Awaits, which I think is one of their saddest ever off A Moonshaped Pool, um, videotape, ballads, you know, it's... <sighs> I like I can't even really express in words. Normally I'm a pretty wordy person, but it's it's hard to express the sadness that are in some of these songs. So much of what Radiohead does, it's melancholic, sure, but they have uplifting songs too, and to reduce them just to a Duma band I think would be to reduce a lot of the work they've done and a lot of the songs that are so philosophical and they put a lot of work into making them really nuanced and now I'm getting haunted by my light, it's so odd. So it's really not hard to see why people connect with Radiohead and their songs so closely. I mean the classic Duma connection, the, the Duma who has equally accepted his alone fate without resentment. There's like this feeling of isolation that runs through all of Radiohead's music that I think really comes from Tom just pouring himself into the music and the rest of the band as well that make that really clear to see. 
Um, and then there's all the people who feel like they've really been saved by the music from suicide and mental health conditions that really feel relieved when they listen to Radiohead. And even I get this, like I've had exams the last few days and I would listen to Radiohead just before them to try and calm down and I feel like I just get so lost in the wallowing and the pain in the music sometimes that it, it really takes your mind off of things. But I think just to say that's what Radiohead is, it's just for you to wallow in your pain and sadness and isolation. I think that's really reductive and that's what I wanted to talk about today because I think there's a second perspective on all of these Duma songs that so eloquently and expressively show their emotions and pain through the music um, that isn't just about that that aren't it isn't just about being sad if you know what I mean because the way I see it right I think I've always been really drawn and I know a lot of other people too we're drawn to music which is just so overly depressing sometimes because you know it's genuine it feels authentic it's not um cookie cutter music that you hear in the top 10 charts right for a lot of people there's an oddly voyeuristic element to it where hearing about other people's pain makes you almost feel less bad about your own it puts things into perspective and it makes you feel less alone um but again that i still see there to be another perspective on this that i don't see discussed very often for me i think i actually really idolize tom the band and other music that's considered Duma music like even those Russian Duma songs like um Molkat Duma is the most I don't even know if I'm saying that right but the most typical example I think I idolize these artists a lot because they've harnessed their suffering and combined it with their creative powers and they've made a career out of it they've been able to express themselves and get their emotions out in this creative way that have actually made them successful. I mean, it's really a goal of mine to be able to make a career out of being a creative and pouring out everything into your work. And there's an intense respect that I feel for people who are able to do that and be successful in it. So um, if you think of Nisha, right, he talks exactly about this. He kind of divides slave and master morality. And he talks about how masters know how to utilize their suffering along with their creative powers to self-actualize and for greatness to improve themselves there's such a power in telling stories and sharing these stories amongst the whole world that radiohead themselves are able to do when they release songs like true love waits or even in the 90s no surprises let down um there's a real power in that and a real respect and reverence I feel for people like that. But you can equally take it in perhaps what Nisha might characterize slave morality. I don't like putting words into people's mouths, so I'm kind of just applying what I know of the theory here. Um, but there's the other way of taking it where it's like, I've accepted my fate. I'm a lonely person. There's nothing I can do to feel better about myself. Like, it's just all sad and I'm just gonna wallow and listen to Radiohead, which you know what, there's value in that too. But there's value in what Radiohead themselves have been able to do and I think we can take a lot of inspiration from that in harnessing our pain, harnessing our suffering, but getting on with it and putting it into something that other people will be able to connect to, that really shows your creativity and your storytelling ability because that's, for me, at least, a goal and always has been a goal. But yeah, I mean, that's just something I've kind of observed in the Radiohead community, which I think I'm not, I, I'm pretty well founded in observing that, considering the um, Urban Dictionary definition, which literally characterizes Doomers as listening to Radiohead on evening walks. That's one of their main traits. So I don't think I'm alone in noticing this in the Radiohead community and especially not being like a figurehead of it, but you know, getting a few thousand views and Radiohead fans commenting on me and my reactions and how I feel about the band. I've definitely been able to get kind of a sense of this community and the way that people connect with the music. And that's really what this channel has 
always been for me. It's about how people connect to music, how people connect to stories, kind of delving into that a little bit deeper, but ultimately showing the power of music and how it can do so much for so many people. So yeah, that's kind of just what I wanted to talk about today. It's a little bit of a different video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'd really love to hear your thoughts on the value of Radiohead, Duma culture, slave morality, master morality, all this stuff. It's, it can get pretty deep, but I think the band warrant this discussion. Let me know if you want me to talk further about my thoughts on this, analyze some songs more specifically and their reaction in the community or other bands like Nirvana and the Smiths and Joy Division, which... There'll probably be stuff coming out on our channel about them because I love them so much and I want to share my love for those bands with you. But yeah, that's about all. Um, please comment your thoughts down below. Join the Liminal Discord if you want to talk to me and Ishane about any of this stuff. And don't be afraid to like, subscribe and comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.